best universities in the world has a, an international agenda, an international strategy, and usually they need to have uh, the best uh, professionals to help them. That's why we have an advisory board like the best universities in the world. The profile of the members, we try to have two sides. On one side, different regions of the world. So we have representatives from all five continents. And second, they have different profiles from rectors and vice-rectors to professionals in the international field. The main functions of the board that we already have the first meeting is that they help us to define what are the most interesting agenda, the most interesting approaches on the internationalization of the university. The business environment is more and more complex nowadays and very much interconnected. But for any school that aims to develop leaders, it is very important for those leaders to have an international view on the society, on the business environment, on the impacts that those will have internationally. Every academic institution has its own particular identity and that identity can be found in the values of its people in international universities, for example, where you have a diverse uh, group of students and staff. They want to be relevant in the world. They have different kinds of expertise. They have different kinds of interests. And I think every university uh, should be able to define itself in these ways in order to really use all of its own capital, its people and its knowledge. Uh, to do great things in the world. We are in the 21st century facing so many challenges worldwide, geopolitical issues, climate change, globalization, international trade, and all of these issues are interdisciplinary. They will require that we work in collaboration across the world in order to be able to solve most of these significant issues. And so alliances, collaboration, internationalization become extremely important for universities from now on. UNESCO has been repeatedly calling for a more value-based approaches to higher education internationalization that develop global citizenship competencies and intercultural understanding. These calls see international cooperation in higher education and research as a useful vehicle for internationally uh, fostered global and intercultural skills, mutual understanding and respect among new generations of leaders, professionals and citizens around the world. It is important that universities like Pompeo Fava develop an internationalization strategy because we have, as academic institutions, to help the world to solve the problems that we are facing. Environment, health, poverty, inclusion. And if we don't do that, our planet will disappear. So academic collaboration is important to work together to solve those problems. We cannot do that as one institution. We have to do it together. We cannot do it if we don't have our students be prepared to become global citizens. So working together is essential and that is what makes an internationalization strategy important.